morning, my lovelies. Welcome, welcome to Natik here at Elk Grove, California, and NatikeYarns.com. Whoops, coming to you live. Okay, what did I do this weekend? I can tell you what I didn't do last night, sleep. I have so much stuff to do because my kids are coming. They've invited people, which is fine. Do you know when you get older, you want less people in your house? That's what I find. I really uh, savor my quiet, but no, I am excited. Some of their friends are coming that are from out of the country, but it's trying to get a house that I have taken over every room. Shout out how many of us have done that. You <laughs> kids leave. You're like, that's a craft room. That's the nursery. Okay. We can have one guest room, but I'm, I'm Nolan's coming, Loren, Brennan and Oliver, his friends. So I'm going to have a full house, but I don't have room for a full house anymore, right? So I got to clean up my craft room. I don't want them to open the closet because I'm literally going to shove all the beep stuff in there. <laughs> I'm like, maybe I just get flip tote so it looks better, there you go. right? Just flip tote them and shove them in there. Good morning. Good morning. I'm so excited to talk to you guys about my new sweater. But I'm in love with this sweater, and it is not, I did not knit it. It is a trunk show, and I'm going to knit this because I think it's a statement piece. I love it. So, um, good morning, Maggie. Um, so, yeah, I got to get the cooking ready because, of course, I'm cooking for Christmas. I have decided I am not doing any, <laughs> I love it, sleeping bags on the floor. Yes, two people will be on blow up. Because I don't have that, I got rid of the beds and it doesn't happen very often. But you know, it's like my mother's thing comes into play, like make sure your guests are welcome, you know, all this stuff. Is food in the cupboard. Yes. No anxiety in the I house. will tell you with my kids know now, you better buy your food. I'm not grocery shopping for you because frankly, I don't have the time. I don't know what you want. My kids are particular, so I'm excited to have everybody there. We'll, I'll do pictures. We have matching pajamas. Hopefully, Brendan buys matching pajamas for his friends. But my whole gang, we all have matching pajamas. So we're in the heat of it. Christmas is Monday. I don't know. Sunday or Monday. I still haven't finished my shopping. Have you finished your shopping? I have finished my shopping. It's just getting it all packed and ready to go to Washington. And we're flying on the 24th, so that's giving me great anxiety. Mm -hmm. I haven't wrapped one present, and I haven't bought everything. <laughs> you know, maybe it's a coupon. <laughs> Didn't have time. So sorry. Yeah, I only have to do stockings. <laughs> and so my main person's already bought four. Okay. But I have to dial in my stocking stuff. So I probably will be shopping on Thursday after I get off work. Carolyn, we're going to have such a good time. That's what I love. So my kids don't care about any of this. This is the pressure I put on myself as a former stay-at-home mom. And I think uh, I think women put pressure on themselves, whether you're a stay-at-home mom or whether you're a working mom, right? Yeah. Working moms, you're, you're at work. So you feel like, oh, I should do this, should do this. I feel that I felt the same way as a stay-at-home mom that I didn't do enough with my kids. Mm -hmm. And so there is no easy way for women. Just do the best that you can. So that's me. My kids, they could care less. Yeah. It's just yeah. me, for sure. It's just the time with family, right? Yeah, exactly. And I am making, there's a viral TikTok pasta recipe that I've made before. This is our main dish because I don't want to work that hard, you guys. I'm being truthful. I've done all the whole holiday big meals. We are doing, it is this simple. Cherry tomatoes in a dish, and you sprinkle olive oil on it, and you put a thing of feta in the middle, and you cook it for 45 minutes, and you mm. smash it up, you add garlic, you add basil, and you add cooked pasta and stir it around, and that is the most incredible dish. So I'm going to do like three, because I'm going to have like 17 people, three of those. We're going to do garlic bread, Caesar salad, appetizers, drinks, and of course, dessert. Hello, Childa. Jilda, seriously. Jilda, you need to wear this. This is so cute. She's loving this one. So she's going to knit this one for herself. I want to knit it or I want uh, Knitting Fever to give me one. I would take go. this one. 
feel the hint, 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 hint. Okay, Melanie, I have not tried it with the boars and cheese because that is another option. I can't decide which one I'm going to do. But you guys, I will um, put the recipe or I'll probably just post the TikTok so you can do it. But it's easy, fun, fast, delicious. My kids were actually excited about it. So I love that. All right, we're jumping right in because we have a lot to talk about. Jilda the rep is here. Woo, woo. Noro today is all things Noro. Um, and I can't wait to show you guys some of the garments from the Noro Trunk Show 2023. We have until the end of the year. If you are local, you can come in, touch the stuff, put it on. I'm going to be modeling quite a few of them. And I'm really, really excited because we have lots of things to talk about for that. So boop, boop, boop. I'm going to go really fast on our grand prize. These are some of my favorite things. We have Dream and Color Savvy in the gorgeous mermaid shoes. I believe this could be done as a pre-order already. I'm not sure, but I'm almost positive that I did do that. Susan, will you double check? Because I know you're watching. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Um, And then we have the Rasta in the gorgeous color lettuce, which is a crocodile. We have uh, the Fleur de Pommier pattern, we, which is this one. We have River Rock, which is another great one. A cashmere pair of socks, another pair of socks, a locking stitch markers, and the Volume Spa Panjori Lychee Travel Candle, valued at $180. We will be doing the drawing live on January 2nd. Kristen, how did they get entered to win this? So I, I made cue cards and I forgot them at home. That's all right. Anyway, I can do it. So uh, every entry uh, into the prize, the monthly prize is done by purchase in the store or online. Come see us, come see us. We have so much to offer you. Lots and lots of goodies. So that is the easiest way. It is cumulative. So the more you purchase, the more you are gonna get entries. We have so many great things right now in the store, lots of sales and uh, lots of fun things to talk about. So there's that. Our daily prize. We had generous presents oh, wow. from Jilda. This is the Rika. This is Noro Rika, one of my favorite colorways, color number four. So many amazing colors. You can see bubble, bubble, bubble gum pink, <laughs> some chartreuse. We've got some violet, some uh, red violet, a little bit of watermelon. This is super dark spruce green it almost looks black but it's definitely blue green i love the colors look at this we've got pumpkin and chartreuse and cream lots of goodies so we are do giving away today because it's a special day for our Nora trunk show celebration this is rika uh it's a chunky weight and i'm gifting it with our pattern interlinked you could do multiples out this out of this because Rika has 352 yards. Rika is a wool alpaca silk blend. Um, and depending the small and the medium take 109 yards, the large takes 150. So you could do two larges, three smalls, three mediums, a large and a medium. There's all kinds of stuff, a large and small, all kinds of goodness. And the daily prize, I don't think I did that. I will let, um, hold on. I did not do that. I got oh. distracted. Um, but how you get entered to win, I'm just going to talk you guys through this while I'm, I'm doing it. But every time you um, comment on the video, you're going to get one entry per comment. You can, it, oh, sorry, I lied about that. Every time you react to the video, you are going to get, um, sorry, one entry. Every comment is five. And if you share, which I'll show you guys in a minute, because good gravy, this is not wanting to do what it needs to do. 
gosh, I even got here early to do all this. Uh, hold on. It's going to take a minute. It's thinking, thinking, thinking. I did subscribe. Hold on. Oh, mm -hmm. my goodness. I'm like, I think we did it. Oh, good gravy. This is just, I don't know what to tell you guys. Shall we go for a walk? I think you should go for a walk because okay. it is having some issues, some major issues today. Okay, so here in the boutique today, we have select holiday items that are 25% off. Don't forget all of the bling. And uh, one of the things Danielle talked about last week was the new shawl, <laughs> shawl magnetic um, pins. So we have these. We have a few Christmas ones left, a couple Santas, a couple trees, and that's about all. They have sold like crazy. So then we have our roll-on bracelets, and we have a basket here full of everything holiday. Um, not, to, not to miss, though, over on the other side of the room, we have uh, other colors that are non-holiday oriented. Uh, here in the basket, we have those vegan crossbody <coughs> cell phone bags. All right, I think I did it. You got it. It's not All perfect, right. but it'll do. Okay. It'll do. Oh, wait. Oh, my gosh. Who is that? Charlotte's Web. That'll do. Is that Charlotte's Web? I'm not certain. All right. Okay, here we're going back. I'm, I'm sure going. that's Charlotte's Web. And she's okay. talking to Wilbur. All right. Okay. Based off of Saturday's uh, video, let's see who's going to be the lucky winner of this gorgeous prize. Pat Nathurda. Congratulations, Pat. Pat, I know, is local. And so all she has to do is come into the boutique. We are open Tuesday through Saturday from 11 to 5. And why the late start? We get that all the time from people because we're doing this live show. We can't have people coming into the boutique because uh, it would disrupt our daily show. If you are not local and when you the next time you make a purchase online, all you have to do in the notes section of your order make sure to say i have a prize we do package it up and mail it with your order we do keep prizes for about a month and then if you haven't had an opportunity to place an order by then they are re uh, allocated back to the prize bin to give out more so congratulations Pat. um she'll lose all Oh, my gosh. He has it all the planning. You still have craziness. Hold on. Just feels a little scattered because it's almost Christmas. If you have orders that you need to come pick up, we would love for you to come over and get your goodies so you have time to wrap them uh, for Christmas. All right. I need to do one thing here. And then we will talk about... what we are about the magazine and I have lots of uh, I worked hard to have all my links done so we are showcasing today the Noro 2023 magazine you guys know we love all things Noro it's super beautiful really quick knits a lot of them because very few of the projects are on smaller than DK weight most are worsted or bulky, and I'm going to say they lend itself, even the worsted lends itself to be Aran weight, um, and I just think it's gorgeous. So we are talking about uh, what I'm wearing right now. This is, I love this. This is a rework of one that they did before. They call this Modern Graphic Reboot. They are using some of the solids. Malvinus is the one that this is knit out of. Um, but look at what it looks like if you're doing a self-striping, totally different look. I think if you were doing, if you wanted to do the two self-striping, you're just going to pick two different colors and you'd have a better look involved with that one. So this is um, two, side, two solid colors of Malvinus. I definitely... If I can't get this one or one like it, I will be knitting this. I think I'm going to come out and show you guys. 
I love the look of this. I do have something underneath it. Um, it's almost like a log cabin type of project where you are knitting a panel. And it, when I mean knitting, knit, 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 knit. This is all garter stitch. And then there's areas that you're going to pick up and finish the other one, right? So it's a pick up and knit. There are two pieces. And then it's seamed here all the way up here. And even on the top, garter stitch is a dream to seam. <laughs> That's right. I rhymed. Because you're matching um, bump to bump. So you're just doing mattress stitch. You would seam with another yarn like Rios just because it behaves a little bit single plies or finicky. And we don't want it to come out. But I love it's almost got a dolman ish sleeve mm -hmm. to it. Super cute. And I just paired it with like this little Jeffrey I got off of Amazon. This is a one piece. Oh, cool. Pockets. Yeah. Okay, so this is what this one is. Um, before I go further, I just want to let everyone know that we have amazing prizes to give away. For, so any Noro purchase from today through the 31st is going to be entered in to win amazing prizes. I'm going to show you just a couple of them. This is one prize. One person is going to get, this is a skein of Hanui cotton, a big ball, and a skein of Malvinas, one of my favorite colors. That's one prize, like a $100 prize. Very generous. Yeah, that's one of them. Another prize is going to be, oh my gosh, I love this color. I think we need to order this in the store. This is Curion color 457. Oh, that's yummy. And then a skein, a big barrel ball of Hanui cotton in color number 216. Very nice. We also have, look at this. I'm going to take it out of the plastic. Okay, ready, ready, ready. Here we go. This is just some of them. So, as I said, any Noro purchases from today, what is today? The 19th through the 31st is going to get entered in. We'll do the drawings probably, I'm just going to say the third because we have something the second. But this is, I don't even know what this is valued at, more than $100. This is the blush, uh, little known fact. I was talking to Jilda originally that we needed pink needles. Jilda is amazing about getting uh, them to do new products. So we have the blush set of Lakey needles. These, this is an interchangeable set from four to 17, five cords, two connectors, four keys, eight stoppers, sized from four to 17. Wow. Yep. That's and the cords are interchangeable with a lot of other uh, companies. It's the same type of design. So that is just going to be some of the prizes we are going to be giving out. And I just want to say shout out to Knitting Fever and Jilda. And I think it's Alicia. Jilda, who is the person? Because I want to make sure that I give her out. The blush is about $150. Somewhere in that range. Jilda, who's the person with the prizes? Super generous. I don't have another company that is as generous as Knitting Fever, and I know it's Jilda. Jilda works hard for her stores, and I just want to say we appreciate you and all the work that you do for us. Jilda Claus. <laughs> no one does this for us. Yep, she's amazing. I thought it was Alicia. So shout out to Alicia. Okay, so we're going to be talking about what other colors you can do with this. It doesn't have to be such a high contrast of black and white. Um, I'm going to talk about the colors, and we'll do some pairings. And Holy Toledo, we may have to do another video. If we're not, I'm going to have to be really fast. Okay. So Malvinas color number three is a gorgeous magenta. I think these two together would be wow. really pretty. That's kind of in my lineup and something I would definitely wear. This is color number two, which is gorgeous fuchsia and bubblegum. Your finger. Got it. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Can Today, you the new thing's coming. 
So okay. we're going to have to play with that. Okay. All right. So that is beautiful. We have, I'm going to talk about the colors and we'll do like three pairings. This is color number 14. Best described pumpkin. Uh, mm -hmm. Definitely. It's a little warmer than it shows on the computer. Color number 17. Wow. Persimmon. Yeah. If you're an orange person, Maggie. <laughs> there you go. I got you guys covered. Okay. Love this one. This is color number eight. Oops, sorry. Which is lime and Granny Smith apple. Yeah. I'm getting good at names. You are. Good I descriptions. Love it. Lots of practice. Okay, love this one. Color number nine. Jade. Mm -hmm. I will tell you, it looks more aqua on camera. Um, pull out a little bit, see if it changes it. No. Nope. It is more blue green than green blue. Thank you, Sandy Tokenaga. Uh, Phyllis Penland Anderson, let me tell you, depending on your size, let me pull it up, color, uh, this is, oh gosh, hold on, I forgot, I had some things to show you guys, or actually to post, one moment, control copy, oh, good gravy, okay, here's the magazine, um, sorry, everyone. Here's the Ravelry to answer your questions temporarily while I look. Control V. And let's see what else. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here's the pattern. You are going to use, oh, they don't even tell you. This is a 40 that I'm wearing if people are asking. This is a size small. Okay, let me let me do the work. Okay, depending on your size. This is called the kimono sleeve pullover. Look at the directions. This is what I'm saying how easy it is. You start up at one, you pick up on two, knit out. Pick up on three, knit up. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. um, depending on your size, a small is two balls of two colors, the medium and the large, and the large um, it's is sized up to a 48. It's very generous, I will say that. Uh, three balls. So two balls for a small, three balls for a medium or a large. Definitely lots of blocking that can be done on this to kind of stretch it out. Okay. All right, we have more. Mm. Ooh. This is what this color, this looks like online. Ooh, you could kind of see it, but it's still. This is more of, this is color number 15, a GNC. Color number seven is um, cornflower blue. Yes. A mid cornflower blue. It is not quite as bright as what it shows. And then last but not least, we have oatmeal, mm -hmm. color number 13. There is cream and like a really nice mushroom color. It's beautiful. So what th could you mix Hanui and Gesha? I don't know. I d that would be, you would need to look at the weights and make sure is, I think it's Geshi, if that's the same weight that we don't have it in the store anymore. So I'm sorry, I have released it from my brain. I do think if I can't get this one, mm -hmm. I would knit this mm -hmm. because there's enough color difference between the two. You're going to get it. I could be really bold and do this Ooh, wow. or this. Mm -hmm. the, I lend more towards this. Okay. Um, so here we are, the color number two and three. Color number eight and three, or eight and two. Everything is available on the website. I did actually um, link them, so those are there. Okay, what colors would you put together? I would put 
this, this one, one. Mm -hmm. with the lighter orange. Ooh, that's yeah. bold. Very. I love this. Okay, color number nine, which is the jade green. Color number 14, which is pumpkin. This is what we're saying, you guys. Be bold with it. This, it, the monochromatic look is gorgeous, but you could really have a statement piece with a pair of jeans. Uh, I'm sorry, even, even leggings. Mm, I'm a big yeah. fan of leggings. So beautiful. Okay. I think it's a little more sedate, but I can think <laughs> lots of people would do something like this mm -hmm. because this is the beach right. and the ocean. Right. So we have color number 13 and color number 15. Lime and magenta. So are we talking these two? Sandy Tokenaga, I think the last one for you. So I think this is what Cindy is saying, eight and three. That's pretty. This is definitely sedate. Yes. But I think it's very wearable. If you're someone who's a little bit more classically inclined, mm -hmm. gorgeous. If you're a Cincinnati Bengals fan, <laughs> here we go. Here's yours to wear. Number seven, number 17. Can you imagine going to like a sports game with a hand knit sweater oh, yeah. that showcases it? That would be awesome. When this um, when this came in, I'm going to say, you guys, I, I wore this on Saturday. I was so excited about the sweater. That's me not wanting to get out of my box. That's okay. You don't, you can stay in your box. Mm -hmm. Your brightness could be the cowls that you do and things like that. What um, about this blue and the oatmeal? We have this one right here. Thank you. Color number seven and color number 13. Here's the difference in the two. Cornflower blue, a GNC. Mm -hmm. More aqua. This one's more aqua and it doesn't show it online. But if you look at our photos, we color coordinate and adjust them to make it a little bit more popular. And then color number seven, definitely cornflower. Okay, Roxanne, I love you. I know you love colors. Roxanne saying this and this. Mm. Gorgeous. Mm. Because even though they're the same um, saturation, there's a huge difference in colors. I When I say I want to knit this, I almost went home with yarn for it because... I love I love this type of modular knitting. No, the green teal. Oh, Jade. The Jade. This is Jade Green. Is that the one you were talking about? Yes. Okay, there you go. There's some combinations for you. I can't wait to see what you guys have all picked. But really, wouldn't this be fun to do in Knit, Tip, and Hook with Boss Lady? Yes. We could knit this together. Yeah. Let me know if anyone's interested because I definitely, all you have to do, can you knit? Can you pick up? That's it. And let me tell you, you're going to be a master picker-upper <laughs> at the end of this. Um but it's kind of nice. You could actually mark all your stitches before you bind off. And shazam, you already have them ready to go. I love it. Sandra Clark says, yes, both of them. Both options. All right. That is design number uh, 28. The next one we're going to talk about um, is using Ito. That's what I'm going to talk about Ito. If you are more fiber sensitive, you are going to use Subame. Ito is a 100% wool, stunning, gorgeous colors, great yardage, and even better, it's feltable. So if you are into doing some gorgeous felting, that is the yarn for you. Change. <laughs> New sweater. I am doing an accessory. Aha. Uh -huh. And we actually have a on-demand class for this type of project. All right. Give me a second. 
let me, I was trying to be like, actually redress our mannequin. So what I am wearing is design number 14. It is a entrelock cowl made out of Ito. And I'm going to say I pulled instead of Ito, Malvinas. Um, it is a worsted weight. I feel like the wool's a little bit softer. Great yardage. Um, and some pretty good colorways. If you have not done entrelock, it is literally just knitting and purling and doing a SSK or knit two together, depending on what size you're on. And you're only knitting with eight color, uh, sorry, eight, normally eight stitches at a time at a time let me drop some of the links for you guys so you can be a part of the party okay i did malvinas okay here is the pattern this is one skein and i'm going to drop ito and subame remember everyone who purchases noro in the next what is that? 11, 12 days gets entered in to win some pretty spectacular prizes. If you're a little more fiber sensitive, Subame is a great option because it is worsted weight and 50% silk, 25 wool, 25 polyamide, huge yardage, 656 yards. Wow. All right. So we're going to talk about a few of the colors. This is color number 40, which I is gorgeous. We've got some crimson, seafoam green, a little bit of buttercup, mm -hmm. and then we go into this really interesting shade. What would you call that? Mm. It's a hard one because it's a, a little bit robin. Of it's almost like robin egg blue because it has that greenish blue mm -hmm. cream. Sky blue. We have this really light, light, almost like rose petal pink. Oh, yeah. Daffodil. Mm -hmm. Lavender. Gold. Then it just it just keeps going. Look at that. We've got some wisteria. Mm -hmm. Carnation. And it just keeps going on. There's even like yeah. chartreuse yellow in that one. That is color number 40. You just need one stain. Okay. okay, I love this yeah. one. This is color number 48. It's just gorgeous. Sea foam. And then you're going to see some uh, mid sky blue. We have cobalt blue. Again, that really dark, sprucey green. Mm -hmm. This is violet. Electric blue. Some daffodil mixed in there. I mean, it just keeps going. Gold. Look at the top of that. Mm. Very pretty. Beautiful, beautiful. And I believe you only need one for this project. Color number 33. Oh, my gosh. There's so many colors in this one. Maroon, definitely. There is uh, milk chocolate. Mm -hmm. And then this is basically the maroon and the cream mixed together. I love this root beer section. Again, milk chocolate, rosebud pink. This rust is gorgeous. If I had to name it after a Crayola, I would say Sienna. Okay. It's that red brown, but definitely fall in a ball. Sorry. <laughs> I need a drink of water. All right. Ooh, I love this one. This is color number 42. Red violet, mm -hmm. spruce green. That is definitely Tiffany blue. Yes. And there's browns that start to blend it. So this is a really good illustration of how it shifts from one to the next. And there's more green. The green tapers out. And then look, the red's coming in, the blue's coming in, and it just slowly morphs. I love this uh, persimmon. Fire, orange, a little bit of yellow. I'm going to show you the top of it because that's really where you see the beauty. Color number 42. Which of the colors do you guys like? Do you guys have a fan? Uh, are you a fan of Ito or Subame? And they're 
you could be a fan for different reasons. Cause I'm like, I like both of them for different reasons. I am showing Ito. I did post the links ahead of time. Uh, or they showed up. So Ito or Subame. I'm not going to talk about Subame because I have other ones to talk about. Um, Roxanne says Subame, Subame. I love Subame. But I wanted to show the colors are very different in Ito. And I think this would be gorgeous. This is color number 41. This would be a color my mom would have worn. My mom was a redhead. She did really well in fall colors. This is, I mean, jet black that goes into a charcoal. We have a really light, dusky lilac into wisteria, some olive green, and then you're going into more of a gold green, pine green, violets, and then they must have a pink thing like me because mm -hmm. I see fuchsia pink in a lot of them. We have that rosebud pink. And then we're going into like the gold section, more of a dusty purple, like gray. I mean, look at this. It's lovely. So beautiful. So that is design number 14. That's here, guys. Number we do 14. have an on-demand class for it. If that is something that you're interested in, you have not done contour lock, even though it's a different pattern, it's going to show you everything you need to be able to knit this beauty. Okay, I saw someone wanted to see my pantsuit, so I'm going to show you guys. I swear I got this off at Amazon. Pockets off the shoulder. I think it was $20. So cute. So that is, I'm trying, I like one piece things, but since it is colder, I need um, pants on. Okay, next in the lineup, let me see, three. Here we go. I'm going to put this here. We're going to be talking about Hanui Silk. Oh, wow. Hanui Silk is an undyed yarn. Uh, they raised special sheep to create this. So it's using the Hanui wool with an undyed silk, and you get the most gorgeous marled collection. Let me try on my sample because this is gorgeousness in a jacket. I'm going to oh. walk around to show. You can, you're focused on that. Okay, so mm -hmm. let me show you guys. I'm going to be talking about design number 21. We all need one of these ladies. Oh, so gorgeous. It's pretty. This Here is design number 21. It's a jacket. I love the length of it, but even more. Look at they did um, daisies, embroidered daisies on it with the yarn. Hanui silk is a beautiful blend, so it's very soft. I will say Hanui gets softer the more that you wash it. So as most, oh, look at it, I can't even button. As with all Noro, I feel like in this game, it does not showcase how gorgeous it is. I like that it's longer. Mm -hmm. I like the sleeve detail. So you have a cable and then it comes to a point, almost like my Alto Stratus. I'm like, it goes along your elbow. This shawl collar. It's beautiful. So cute. We all need all right. one of those. So let me drop this into and the here. links. So here are the colors. This is called Cabled Charisma. Do you know why we love it? Nikki Epstein designed it. Mm. She designs wearable knits. Um, she's an icon, has been designing for years. She's based out of New York, I believe. Hold on. No, I just miffed it. Let's see. Hmm. Hanui Silk. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about it. Hanui translates as place of the wind. It's a natural blend of raw mulberry silk and is mixed, uh, unique mixed breed Hanui Merino wool from the Taranui farm in New Zealand. The yarn has slight thick thin. To the single ply, true wool lovers will cherish limited quality, slightly rustic, undyed wool. 
Sandy Tokunaga, this is what I would do if you have Hanui and you want to do that sweater, this would be the blend. So using one of the darker ones of the solid with one of the lighter ones. Gorgeous. This is a worsted weight, 65% wool, 35% silk, 361 yards per skein. Uh, this is going to take anywhere from, okay, it's size 37. This is, I'm sure they do the smaller sizes. This is a 37. And I like that it's a little fitted through here, uh, through a 42, 1440. So what is that? Five skeins to do it all the way up to a 59 and a half, which you would need 2,880. Just gorgeous. Tonal daisy stitch, French knots. Single cable along the center of the sleeve. Uh, oh, we have. Cable. Ooh, ooh, I'm not ooh, sure what ooh, happened. Ooh. Oh, you turned it. You uh, can't. It's didn't like. Mean to. Sorry, ladies. Danger, Will Robinson. I am learning still. Phyllis, I would take this coat too. Or I would take any of these next. <coughs> All right, let's talk about the colors. They're so very neutral. This is color 109. And boy, it's, if I were to put them, let me do it, this, is that the same? Because they look like, thank goodness, I missed one of the colors, uh, because those looked exactly the same. Okay, <coughs> color number 108, it is the undyed silk with the lightest khaki. Mm. And when I say khaki, like khaki pants, not khaki green. It is definitely a tan. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Color number 109 is again the undyed yarn with a very interesting shade of brown. It's tan, but a warmer, uh, a warmer, because I can see some butterscotch in there. There's some hues of a richer color. You see that? Almost pops out. I would say if I had to describe it, it is uh, fawn. Okay. So more of a fawn and a cream. And we do have more colors. How did they do the hem? It's just knit. There's nothing fancy. Bound off. With those little points. Yeah. The points occur because of the cabling, because it changes your movement. And the darkest color this is color 111 which is the undyed and i would say walnut mm. because black it's walnut. that black walnut mm -hmm. it is definitely a dark a dark roasted coffee mm -hmm. nothing on this pattern is hard i just want to point this out nikki i think is such an amazing designer she actually knit this that's, oh. I mean, or her staff did, but I love garter stitch cables. So this is a one, two, three by three cable. And if you don't want to, you didn't even, you don't even have to do this, but I do like the detail. Nothing's crazy about this. And quite honestly, a really easy stitch to put those lazy it is. on there. You just come out here and make a loop. I normally use my finger or a double point and it keeps the tension. Then you come back and tack it down. So there's nothing crazy about this one. So this is design number 21. Oh my gosh, I'm running out of time. Let me check this over here. I will do a... Uh, Design change. We are talking about Hanui cotton. Okay, I'm already in love with one of these colors. This one. So beautiful. And one moment, I need to change. <laughs> I did get everything ready. Hanui cotton is one of the newer yarns. Um, really beautiful, tweedy, with some light stripy. It's not the typical Noro bold stripes. It's more along the subtle lines. My glasses aren't going to go at all. 
<laughs> Did you say Mr. Magoo? Yes. Yeah, so I think I love a bold glass because I'm like, if you have to do it, you might as well. Okay, this is Hanui Cotton Design number 23. Let me drop it for you. Oh my gosh, I am getting good at this, if I do say so myself. Because if I can't say how great I am, who's going to? Okay, I posted the pattern. Here is the yarn. And then I'm going to walk out and show you guys. That's some really subtle color changes. As this is Hanashobo. Is so crazy soft book we even have this in our trunk show. Ladies, can you see the subtle detail in there with the diagonal stripe? And it's asymmetric. So where the diagonal comes, stop it goes down here and then up again. This is just knits and pearls. It's almost like a parallelogram. I'm gonna come in a little bit closer. And the subtle color difference. Okay, I'm just also going to say this. I normally don't like a rolled hem, but because the roll stops at the pearls, it's a nice little detail. We've got it here, here, here at the neck. It's like a few rows, and then you start the patterning. This is more of a boxy fit to it. It is done in um, pieces, so you're going to get really good at seaming it. But so very beautiful. Okay, here's the color that mine is out of. Oh, Pam, this would look great on you. This is the Hanui Cotton, color number 314, 60% Hanui wool. Um, they must have dyed it, that's what I'm thinking, because there's too many colors, or not. Really pretty. Maybe that's the gray, and then 40% cotton. More, let's see, 375, over 400 yards per barrel ball. Wow. It is a hand wash, lay flat to dry, worsted weight. Uh, Hanui means place of wind in the Maori language in New Zealand. But you can see there's cobalt, there's gray, there is just bright turquoise. Mm -hmm. And the base is a gray. Okay, I love this one. <laughs> this is color 316. It to me is fire. Mm -hmm. You're having this really dark, dark red orange going into pumpkin, a little bit of electric yellow or electric orange, and then a milk chocolate kind of softens the palette. All right. Would you mind talking about another color? While sure. So we have this one here. The <laughs> so we've got some of that oatmeal color, a little bit darker though. There's a little bit of a very, very light daffodil yellow. There's some purple in here. See all those? A little bit of chocolate again. And that is color number, turn this over, 217. All right, let me move this. We are, what time is it? Oh, we're getting close, and I have class today. Okay, here we go. Color number 214 definitely has a carnation. This is like roses, mm -hmm. right? There's mm -hmm. more of that bright carnation pink going into a mauve, and then a very light, light, dusky pink. The background is that oatmeal, and this is, it's like a mauve brown. So beautiful. Color 214. If you are someone who's into brown, this is chestnut. Color 313. The cream, you've got hits of a rust. Chestnut brown's kind of the background, and then you have rust and a little bit of milk chocolate. This one is interesting because the palette is pretty um, uh, bland. I don't know if that's the right word. It's not ugly, but it's, it's bland. It's muted. Yes, thank you. How many skeins do you need for your sweater? One moment, please. I do have things. Okay, uh, you got your order today? Oh, 
Thank you, Beth. We, I have been doing all my shipping the same day. And I love it. I love writing all the notes to you guys. Okay, number 23. Shall we continue with colors? While yes, please do. Okay, so we have this one here. That's got wow, the this is super affordable. Bright yellow, the limey greens. We've got some grass green here. A little bit of, oh, what would we call this? Um, I would say lichen green. Ah, okay. Lots and lots of greens with this wonderful heathered brown. It's really, really pretty. Look in this and a pop of this. sunshine. Oh, yes, there is definitely a pop I of sunshine. Love it. Okay, so for people who are interested in making this, a finished measurement 4044. I would say this is a 40, and people have tried it on. Three balls. A 48 and a 53 takes four balls, which wow. that's an unbelievable deal. So ladies, if you didn't catch that, this was color number 216. Okay, we've got two more there. Yeah. Um, this this one. Did we oh. talk about that one? Mm -mm. This one, I think, yes. This is a bold because the rest of the palette tends to be pretty subtle. Dark chocolate. Definitely. With a beautiful orchid pink. Mm -hmm. And, ooh, that is a hard blue to describe. I would say... It's a, it's like electric blue green. Mm -hmm. Agreed. And that is color number. And I probably would say uh, mint, like a blue mint green. Okay. But that I think it's so beautiful. 218. And for all the blondes, yes. this is, this color is for you. You know what this reminds me? Sherbert. Uh, yeah. You've got orange sherbet, a little bit of the, it's not lime. It is really like a lemon yellow, lilac, so apricot, lilac, lemon yellow in this taupey background. It's beautiful. Mm-hmm. And that is color number? Color number 215. Okay. Which of these do you like? What would be your choice? Probably the more subtle one. Yeah. Yeah. The other one, I mean, I think that's a great uh, statement piece. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Nothing like being the host and the model. At the <laughs> <laughs> my hair. Look at what my hair looks like now, you guys. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. Okay. Last but not least. This, this is Madara, which is the most beautiful tweed. Crazy colors. And here's what I like about the tweeds. They're all different. They are um, mm -hmm. beautiful, bright colors in a lot of them. This is design number two. Madara is the yarn. Hold on. Let me drop my link. Yeah, Stacy, seriously, pulling everything off my head. <laughs> Holy cow. Okay. But I love it. We have to do photography. Oh, my gosh. This is knit designed by Deborah Newton. And the name of the design, Tahoe. Oh, perfect. Uh, this is size from an extra small to a 3XL. It's worsted weight that knits up at 16 stitches over 4 inches knit on a 7 or 8 needle. Um, I know I'm wearing a 38. So I am wearing the extra small. I can tell just by the way it fits my boobs. <laughs> um, but it's so cute. It's like the jacket. Yes. Yes, I so, love the length. I of love it. the length. This is what I'm talking about, you guys. A cropped because my outfit has pockets here. There's a little bit more room there. This is how I know it's a 38, right? I am too booby, and then this opens up. So I would do one size bigger because I don't like the V. Who needs a showcase on the biggest part? Right? It's very business like. Looks very business like. It's really great though. Yeah. I I've already planned I talked to Kristen. We're gonna do a reel with these. Remember? Yep. We're like yep. Yep. Next so. one. 
And I have to say, you know, if you pair a sweater with lovely buttons, the perfect buttons, it just makes the item that you've knit look so much more classic. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Okay. Ooh, we need to, I've seen dust buttons. Are we, we're running out of time? We are running out of time. Okay. Okay, I'm going to wrap it up real quick. And I'm sorry to not give you guys more descriptions, but I actually have a class. A class at 11. I'm going to go through this really quick. We're not even going to talk about what we're wearing. Color number three. Color number 17. Color number 19. Love this one. Yeah, yeah. Too. This would be a color I would wear too. Mm -hmm. I love more of the olives. Color number 21, because it's highs and lows in olive. This is the color it was made out of. Color number 18. This is chocolate brown, like mid semi sweet. Color number 22. If you're a milk chocolate girl, here we are. Color number 10. This, yes. for that black and white sweater, this is another one. Any worsted weight Noro can yes. be substituted. Love this one. This is, this is color number 24. Pair it with that. Yep. Look at this here. Ooh, look at this. These are both olive greens, but this leans blue. This leans yellow. Mm -hmm. Just to show you the difference. This is color number 20, leaning blue. Leaning yellow, color number 21, and if you like spring green, we have color number eight. All right, lovelies. Lovely palette. Okay, I wish I, I could talk more. I have more to talk about. But remember, anyone who purchases Noro from today through the 31st gets entered in to win prizes, probably valued at more than $500. So shout out, Jilda and KFI. Thank you for your generosity. Thank you for shipping the trunk show for us and letting us have it for so long. We are in love with all things tomorrow. So thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. Uh, I will be back at 3 o'clock with Knit, Sip, and Hook with Boss Lady. Maybe we can talk about doing that. So yeah. goodbye, goodbye. We'll see you later.